Hey everyone, so I've got another video today in my 90s nostalgia series and I'm talking about Pingu. Now I thought I'd already talked about Pingu but I, if I remember rightly this time last year I recorded the video and then the file broke so I didn't upload it. Pingu was one of my favourite programmes but to be honest with you now it kind of really irritates me for various reasons but I can still appreciate it for what it is. The nostalgic element makes me still love Pingu but honestly I, looking at it now I'm thinking how was this ever successful? It's, it's a clay program, you know, your clay motion stop program, which I love. I love those. I always will. I think they're so gorgeous to just look at. and um, They're really beautiful. But the actual stories itself are kind of weird. Pingu is kind of... Pingu is the audience, you know. Pingu plays the role of the character who is watching it, the target audience. You know, your preschool children. Pingu takes on their role, you know, and as he learns, the children are learning. And it focuses on his adventures with his sister, Pinga, which is a really cute name and their friend Vasile, whose name I've completely forgotten, but it's not a relevant point. And, you know, they get up to little adventures, and there's a particular episode I remember when they go to the sweet shop to buy sweets, and it's all, it's a lot of little morals, um, but not stevious, like, don't kill your sister morals, but more just morals, kind of like, you know, obey your mother, and don't stay out late, and don't go down that iceberg when I told you not to, kind of things. Um, very, very lovely little stories, but they speak in, ow, I just cracked my finger, they speak in, um, in well, I was going to say penguin, la penguin language, they speak, wah, wah. you know, they speak kind of weird. Which for me, I can see the benefit for children because it's it's teaching them sounds and things. But at the same time, I'm with a lot of people on the th on the sense that you're trying to teach these children language, you're trying to teach them how to speak, and then you're teaching them these silly noises. And I know it's something the children appreciate, and I know it has educational benefits. But my personal preference, but my personal preference, I'd rather you set them with the OED and made them read the dictionary from start to finish. But that's because I, I like to enforce academics over silly noises, but I'm quite snobbish like that. But that's not the point. I do think things like pre other preschool programs like Noddy and Bob the Builder and things like that, where they're speaking the English language, I think is much more beneficial than where half the time, when half the time they're speaking nonsense. It's the same with Booba, it's the same with um, In the Night Garden, it's the same with mm, a couple others. But there are problems like that where I just don't like them. So for me that's kind of a negative point of this. But I can, as I said, I can see the benefits, but I would prefer them to take other approaches with this. Um, but it is very cute to watch, you know, you have your penguins in the um, igloos. There's one particular scene I remember from an episode where Mother Penguin is... Um, standing in her igloo ironing something and little Pingu shuffles along and it's just a really peculiar scene that I remember. Actually it might be a sister that shuffled along, probably was. But it's great. Very interesting program to watch aesthetically. I really like watching it and I think the visuals of it are beautiful. Um, but for me personally I do think that the fact that half of it's kind of funny noises is not something I would personally necessarily praise it for, even though I've said it many times, I can see the benefits, so please nobody comment saying, but it's good for them. I know it is, but I prefer programs where they're all speaking our language, you know? Um, yeah, but let me know your thoughts on this. Also, if you've never seen it, let me know your thoughts on that. If you go and pop it on YouTube, there are loads of loads of clips on, online of it. Um, because it'd be interesting to see if, what you think of it without having that nostalgia there. Um, but yeah, as a 90s kid, it was very much a massive part of my life. Penguin, penguin, penguin. That was a cross between penguin and pingu. Pingu toys were quite popular. Not as much as Naughty and um, Post and Pat and things. But you know, you got the pingu teddies and they were cute. Yeah, really did like it as far as nostalgia goes and as far as being a child is concerned. I know children benefit from it. I watch this, I can now speak. It hasn't, you know, it hasn't damaged me too much. But I just, as I said, there are other programs that I'd put first above this one as far as your greatest kids shows go. Um, the Teletubbies as well, because you've got the voice over there it's not so bad, but and I mean they do speak English but it's kind of weird, but never mind, yeah Teletubbies I've already talked about. Let me know your thoughts on Pingu, any other 90s nostalgia or sort of late 80s, I've watched a lot of late 80s kids shows in my younger days and now, any other TV shows let me know if you want me to talk about them and I'll see you all next time. Bye!